I was seeing some funny stats that uh, a pound of saffron costs the same as a horse. A pound of ginger, same as a sheep. Two pounds of mace, another spice, not like the, the spring in someone's eyes if they're attacking you kind of thing, costs the same as a cow. And get this, a pound of nutmeg would get you seven fat oxen. Oh yeah. Why is Indian food so expensive? Now this question is probably being asked by Americans, I would think, or maybe British people. Because when I was looking at uh, the prices for Indian food in the US, I was noticing a trend that uh, Indian restaurants have entrees that are around 15 bucks. I was seeing like chicken tikka masala for 15 bucks. Whereas a comparable Thai or Chinese restaurant we got Kung Pao chicken for about $10.99, looked about average. We had Penang curry chicken, which was about $10.95 on average. So you're gonna be paying about 45% more at an Indian restaurant. Similar in Britain. So like an Indian biryani chicken, I was seeing for about 1150 uh, pounds. Uh, whereas a Chinese curry, uh, was about seven pounds or so. So Indian restaurants do seem to be more expensive than comparable uh, ethnic food restaurants. Why might that be? Well, in this video, we are gonna take a look and give you a few reasons why that is. Before we do that, let's cover how a restaurant might set their prices. What are the factors they're taking into consideration? So what they're thinking about is obviously the quality of the food. So are they buying the highest quality meats, fresh vegetables, good spices? We also have to consider, is the food they're buying, do they have to import it? Is it, is it more difficult to get, which is gonna drive the price up? Another thing to consider is location. Downtown, big city, that restaurant's gonna have to pay more in rent and that's gonna drive the price up some. Another is labor. How long do the cooks take to cook the food? Can they make it up quickly? Or does it take many, many hours where they're needing to hire many cooks to spend a lot of time making and preparing the dishes? The final thing is how nice is the atmosphere? You know, what are they spending on the lighting, the sign, the tablecloth, the cutlery, that sort of thing. So as you're thinking about that, you probably are having some ideas why Indian food may have higher prices. Let's cover a few more reasons specifically right now. So the first reason that I'm seeing is that Indian dishes have more ingredients than comparable Thai or Chinese dishes. So I'm seeing 20 to 30 ingredients in a lot of basic Indian dishes. That's 60% more than comparable side dishes. For instance, chicken tikka masala has 24 ingredients, according to some recipes. And uh, Thai chicken curry has 15 ingredients. So this means the owner has to buy less stuff. They have to make sure less ingredients go bad. They have to stock less. And that may be driving the price of Indian dishes further up. Indian spices can also be expensive. Let's keep in mind how India was, uh, or let's keep in mind how America was discovered. People in Europe were like, man, let's, let's make this food a little tastier. Let's, uh, let's go find India. Let's get a direct route to India and let's get some tastier dishes. They bump into America and you know, that story is told. So in Europe at that time, spices were very expensive. They uh, cost more than gold. I was seeing some funny stats that uh, a pound of saffron costs the same as a horse. A pound of ginger, same as a sheep. Two pounds of mace, another spice, not like the, the spring in someone's eyes if they're attacking you kind of thing, costs the same as a cow. And get this, a pound of nutmeg would get you seven fat oxen. Oh yeah. So, and Indian food uses so many spices. Let's talk about some of them here. Turmeric, 
cumin, fenugreek, fennel seeds, coriander, black cardamom, green cardamom, uh, astio fedita, um, 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 garlic, ginger, basil, chilies. There are 40 to 50 different types of chilies here in India and each one adds a different flavor to the dish. So the vast number of spices used in dishes and their price may be driving the price up. I was looking at the prices today and saffron is the most expensive spice in the world. It can cost 500 to $5,000 per pound. And some of the best saffron in the world is in the Kashmiri Hills up north. Mountains, sorry, not hills. The Himalayas are up there. There are other expensive spices used, like, let me check my article here. Black cumin seeds cost $38 per pound. Cumin is one of the most primary dish ingredients in many dishes. Cardamom costs $30 per pound. It's the queen of spices, one of the most expensive spices in the world. Even more basic uh, spices used or cheaper spices. Cloves cost 10 bucks a pound. Cinnamon costs six bucks. Black pepper and turmeric, three bucks. So these, uh, these spices may be driving the price of our dishes up higher. Indian food also takes a long time to cook. Like I'm no chef. The food I make here in India might be called Indian food, but it's not real Indian food. What I'm seeing, the way an Indian chef cooks, there's no recipe book. There's this intuitive sense passed down from generation to generation. And they could spend all day making food in the kitchen, pounding and grinding the spices, um, finding and sourcing which person has the best vegetables you know, from which fruit vendor or which uh, vegetable vendor has the best vegetables for their dishes. It is impressive and it can be very time intensive. In America, we, we want fast foods. You know, I looked at some funny stats. There are 200,000 fast food restaurants in America, whereas India isn't necessarily like that. It may be becoming that way as uh, more Western ideas happen in uh, big cities, but there were only 2,500 fast food chains according to the stat I saw. I think that's probably a bit low, but I think it's accurate that fast food in America is huge and fast food in India is just kind of catching on. Really, there's this tradition of someone making the food by hand and being very knowledgeable and very uh, home cooked. Now, if you're owning a restaurant, you're gonna have to be paying a cook to prepare those sauces. And that could, be, that could be expensive and it could be driving the price of Indian food up. The final thing is the demand. We got the whole economic supply and demand thing. In America, there just aren't as many Indian restaurants. According to the stats that I saw, there are about 40,000 Thai restaurants and there are 5,000 Indian restaurants. So if there is less competition among Indian restaurants, if I'm the only Indian restaurant in town, well, guess what? Maybe I'm gonna charge a little bit more because it takes me, takes me more time to order these spices, it takes me more money to, to buy the most expensive ingredients, it takes my cooks more time to cook the food. So, you know, I might charge 15 bucks. Whereas Thai restaurants are becoming very common and Chinese restaurants have been common for a long time. They, uh, they, you, any small town, you can pretty much find a little Chinese restaurant. That's not the case with Indian food. You'll find them in more bigger cities as well. And the cost of living in bigger cities is just higher. So this might be another reason why Indian food costs more. What do you think about this? Is Indian costing you more money? And what do you think the reason might be? Or if there's a mistake or some feedback you'd like to give, please share it in the comments below. If you like this video though, please click the like button. If you have some friends that would be curious about this, please share it with them. I like to make informative videos about beautiful India. And if that's something you're interested in, please click the subscribe button. I've been putting out weekly videos uh, about my experiences here, staying here since 2018, and I would love for you to join us. Thank you very much.